Hey guys, what's going on? It's Kyle Hunt from Hunt Fitness. And last night I posted up on Facebook and Twitter asking for uh, questions for a Q&A video. But I actually decided to put a little bit different spin on it than what I normally do. I normally I just take a bunch of questions, pick them out, and then uh, put them in all one big video and answer you know six or seven questions in a video. But what I'm going to do now is I kind of got an idea. I'm just going to take each one individually and make it kind of like a question of the day type thing. And try to get one out every day. I probably won't just, I mean, I, I say things and I don't always do them. But my goal is to get one video out, you know, maybe one, once every day or maybe every other day and answer somebody's questions. So I have about 10 good ones right now. So 10 days probably of good questions. But since it's going to be like a running total, if you have a question, fitness, nutrition related, even it doesn't actually even have to be fitness or nutrition related. I mean, I prefer it's that but if you want to have, ask me something personal or whatever I'll you know throw it into one of the days but send them to kylehuntfitness at gmail.com yes that is a new email address AOL email sucks I was sending out so many emails a day that they first put a spam blocker on my email address so every like two or three emails I'd have to type in one of those codes you know so that would slow me down but then on top of that the code, like the link to the, the page where the code was, didn't work half the time. So I'd literally have to go to the code, type in the code before I'd be able to send an email. But then the code link wouldn't work. So I'd be sitting there for 10 minutes trying to get it to work as I was getting emails five every minute. So it's just I'm like, all right, screw it. New email address. I'm trying to get everybody worked over to it. Obviously, there's so many things out on the internet that says it's huntfitnessaol.com that... I, it, people are going to still be using it. I'm still answering those people's emails, but I'm trying to direct everybody over to the new one. So it's kylehuntfitness at gmail.com. Another thing, shout out to Mark Featherstone for this awesome, amazing t-shirt. I uh, sent it to me. He's a great guy. You've probably seen him training with Nick Wright. I really want to get up there to his uh, powerhouse gym sometime soon and get a training session with him. So, But anyway, just it's an awesome t-shirt. I thank him a lot for uh, sending it to me. So the question I picked for today is from Jose, and here's the question. How many grams of protein does egg white without, or egg without the yolk contain, so an egg white, and is it healthy to consume five whites, one whole egg every day, and is it a good protein source? So to answer this question, an egg white contains actually about 3.6 grams of protein for a large egg white. I just consider it four grams. It, it's about, it's, I mean, some people say 3.6 and some are 3.8. Four grams to me, a whole egg's about six grams. So yes, it's, a whole egg is majority uh, egg white protein. There's two grams in the yolk, and that's where all the fat is. There's about four and a half grams of fat in the yolk. Um, but, so that answers that question. Actually, I've been asked that quite a few times. But, I mean, if, even if you, like, research it, it'll come right up. Uh, but... Then is it healthy con to consume five whites and one whole egg every day? Yeah, I mean that's that would only that'd be like twenty grams of protein from the white, six grams from the whole egg, and then so it'd be about twenty six grams of protein and around four and a half grams of fat. So yeah, it's a perfect protein source. I love egg white as a protein source. It's high in all nine essential amino acids. It's uh, there's no fat in it. So and a lot of uh, Supplements actually contain egg white protein in there just to give it like a, a blend of uh, protein sources. So like you'll see whey, egg white, maybe casein in a blend. But I always like to have eggs in uh, some point in the meal plans. Uh, normally for breakfast it's just, you know, my favorite thing. I try to get most of my clients to eat eggs in the morning just because it's easy and it's traditional breakfast food. Uh, some form of egg white and whole egg mixture. I mean, you said five and one. Yeah, that works out great. Uh, depends on what your uh, macronutrient needs are for the day. Um, you can even have two whole eggs, three whole eggs, and that's going to be fine. The, the, the fat in the egg has gotten a lot of, like, a bad rap. And a lot of it was from cholesterol because everybody was, there is a lot of cholesterol in the egg yolk. But it's, as, as we found through research, Cholesterol in food does not have a terrible effect on the body, especially from, you know, sources which, I mean, a whole egg is, 
I mean, the fat from the yolk is going to be a mix of saturated and unsaturated. But saturated fat even, isn't even all that bad. So containing, you know, eating a few whole eggs is, is going to be, you know, completely fine. Uh, I always try to put a whole egg in my meal plans. It's a good fat source. I like to use it. But uh, to answer your question, yes, egg whites, 4 grams of protein, excellent protein source. Have a mixture of egg whites and whole eggs into uh, your meal plan and uh, enjoy.